Who's being oppressed? We are. We're the ones getting locked up. White supremacists are oppressed. All right, there you go. That's smart. We're the ones being locked up, ma'am. We have pastors who are being arrested in Canada. Is the sin of mankind. Yeah. Now, now the sin of mankind. If I if I if I practice lying, he does not love that. If I practice homosexuality or um, if I practice uh, 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 adultery, if I practice fornication, if I practice gossiping, if I practice backbiting, if I practice stealing, if I practice anything that is contrary to his spirit, he does not like that. Amen. Amen. First of, all, first of all, first of all, when you when you read the Bible, when you read the Bible, the Bible says that he. Sorry if I'm in your way. Sorry about that. All right, we had to have three police officers help us out because they started getting aggressive. Thank you, officers. Thank you for your service. So you think it's okay for sex offenders to be around children? We love you. Too. Yes or no? Will you answer the question? Won't answer it. Three of them were discovered. Three sex offenders already. That's like a that is like so minuscule, and it's still based on two sexes. Nope, wrong. And we're not talking about that. We're talking about adult entertainers around children. Does it matter? Why? You know what? It is. It's our community, and we're fed up with it. Thank you. He gave us choice. We, we can choose which way we want to go. But there's one or two places you're going to go. You either go to heaven or you're going to hell. Heaven Take a picture. Is a real place. Heaven is a real place. Hell is a real place. Amen. I wish that no one should perish, but everyone have everlasting life. Because that's what he wants. I wish the same thing that he wishes. Now, here's the key What do you wish to do? What is your story? I, I was born in Chicago. Thank you for being here. Shame on you! Why do you have a problem with black people? Shame on you standing with white supremacists. Why do you have a problem with black people? Yes, you do. You're interrupting him. Why are you a bigot? Why do you have a problem with white people? With white people, black people. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. You try to shut him down. Why do you have a problem with black people? Why are you stealing their civil rights movement? Yes, you are. You hate black people, and that's shameful. Why do you hate black people? That is so shameful. Black Americans have been so abused. Their civil rights movement has been taken from them. You should be ashamed of yourself. Not at all. Where do you come from? Police officer. Police officer. Yeah, you're being violent. Look at this. See how violent they are? You guys are violent. Sorry, Pastor. Can I? I don't want to take your thunder. Can I say something really quick? I don't mean to. You know, I may be a white man, but I'm an American, and I have civil rights just as much as this man. His his for his forebears, civil rights movement. They fought hard for the civil rights for all Americans. But here's the thing: you're born black, and it's beautiful. But you ain't born gay. That's nonsense. You can't. You cannot change DNA. You know, Abraham Lincoln once Thank said, you. Abraham Lincoln once said to a boy, he I'm asked the boy, does, does, does a person have two legs or do they have three? And, 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 and the boy said the person has two. But if you say that a boy, that a boy or an animal has a tail, that doesn't make him have a leg. So the bottom line is, we were born with two feet, we were born with two You have a problem with black people. Seven holes in our head, and the Lord wants to use these seven holes for the goodness and righteousness of the kingdom. That's the bottom line. Amen. So, 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 so there is no you ready here. We love everybody. We love That's everybody. it. And That's right. Loves everybody, yes. But we will not accept yes. foolishness talk to our children. We're not accepting it. Tony, you ready? You're okay, Pastor? You ready to go? Now, you you have a problem with Filipinos as well? You were trying to shut down this black man. I have a problem with yes, you do. You're racist. Value. And so are you. You tried to shut down a black pastor who wants to protect children. Are you going to try to shut down this Filipino too? So you see it, the real hatred. This is the real hatred, folks. It's right here. They're telling us to leave. They're telling us to leave. Me too. I was born in the state, and I'm going to die here if I can. I'm a family man, a businessman, a Christian Catholic. I'm a family man too. I'm here today to speak against. You're not a man, ma'am. 
You're not a man. Yes, I can. I just did. I just did. So who are you with? Is that like pedophilia you're uh, yes. promoting too? Exactly. You, she, I'm gay. she said she's promoting pedophilia. I am gay. And I'm here to people. That's what I am. That's right. We're gay. We're here to support into the LGBTQ community. Black, brown, trans, non-binary folks of color stand together. No, I'm not letting you respectfully pop. Take your words of promise. Look at all this hate. No, no, no. I'm not here. You're the man with the dress in the mask wearing a dress. Yeah, pedophile. Ma'am, I got you on record. You said you support pedophilia. I don't support pedophilia. Yes, you do, if you're allowing these drag queens around children. Yep. They're protecting if you stay Okay, okay. Sorry. What do we want? 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 I want you to see how violent they are. See how violent they are. See, this is where the hate is. You see it? Trying to confuse our children and break up our families. Thank you all, and be God hate you. Amen. It's okay, all right. I want to make it really clear. I want you to notice the police have to protect us. The hateful bigotry you find from the LGBT activists who want to scream and shut us down. Really quickly, if there are questions, let's go really quick because there's others who want to speak. Let's make it very clear. You can't say that you love if you allow people to be in bondage to a lie. And that's why we're here today. That is why we are speaking out today. This is why we are urging the Chula Vista community and the elected officials to put an end to this drag queen nonsense and start promoting healthy people, healthy role models for a healthy community. I would like to have a mother or a grandmother speak. I know I spoke to some. We want to make sure that others have the opportunity. But there is no problem. Pastor, if you want to give a few words. God bless you. God bless you, Chula Vista. Look, uh, I know there's always two sides. God did create the heavens and the earth. And there's only one God. There's only one God. There's only one God. I just want the, I just want our families and kids to have a chance. That's it. Just give them a chance. Let them, you know, we, we get a license. Uh, uh, you can't drink until you're 21. You can't do this until you're 18. But let our kids mature and let them make the decisions on their own. Absolutely. That's All right. Simple. Right now, before anything, I'm going to say a prayer. Simple prayer for all of us. For God so loved the world. All of us. Amen. All of us. We're created in the image of Christ. Yeah. Help me pray. Father God, we thank you. We thank you for a beautiful, beautiful day in the city of Chilavista. He's a police officer. Father, I pray right now for removing all confusion. Bless our people, Lord God. Father, you know the right, Lord God. I pray that you raise up the standard, Father, and save our children, Lord God. And Father, I Do you really think you were born that way? Police Department, I thank you for all the people here today, my God. Bless them, physically, financially, most of all spiritually, Lord God. In Jesus' name, and we say, and we say, save our children, give our kids a chance. Yes. Give them a 
chance. They're barely studying math. They're studying, they're, they're barely learning about the birds, the sun. They're barely learning about gym. Why do we want to flush something down their throats? Please, let them hit 1821. They'll figure it out themselves. Amen. God bless you. Jesus loves you. Amen. Praise God. God bless you. Don't you don't you understand that transgenderism cuts the lifespan okay, short? It's not transgender. Yes, ism. Ism. yes it is. Transgender. Ism. It no, is a mental not, disorder. No, it is not. You need to look at the DSM. Doesn't it's matter. DSM's been disorder. corrupted by politicizing. Everything that's against you has been corrupted. Not at all, ma'am. Not at all. Well, that's all you've been saying the whole time. You've look at here. the truth of it. You You're can look at the statistics. Son. Look at the Center You're for Disease Control. Look at the Center of How Disease Control. You? Are you a family man? Yes, I am. Then why aren't you with your children protecting I'll them? I'll tell you why. Because I had to give up having one family to protect others. You don't need so to you don't protect your family. own? I yes, I do. If you're going to give this, your oh, son this children. trash. I didn't give my son anything. Right now, this program is about indoctrinating younger children. Yes. Two and three and four years old. Pre-K. Are you Wazel? And we need to stand against I'll, I'll talk to you later. We don't want them to be confused. They should have to answer. Oh, look at you. Destroying our property as well, ma'am? They should have They have, like, no... They don't understand. They're confused. And we shouldn't have to put them through that. We just ask for reasonable time for kids to grow up with fantasies and fun and no indoctrination. We can't do it in schools for Christianity, for Judaism, for Islam, and neither should we do it for the homosexual agenda. Yes. It's not right. It's not fair. They're not fodder for our views and for our complicated issues as adults. Please, let them have a chance to grow up without having to figure out what sex they are. They'll figure out soon enough as a good pastor said. Thank you. There's only two to choose from. Absolutely. Thank you so much. So when people want to say this is some kind of outside movement, you're looking at Chula Vista residents here. They asked me to come. I didn't come on my own. I don't know where people get that idea from. And I'd like to remind you that this is an agenda that we are fighting, though, all over the country and even all over the world. We have shut down drag queen programs in Georgia and Ohio. We have put this aside in New Hampshire. We are fighting this. It is time for us to stop accommodating lies and destruction and to start promoting what is beautiful and right. There are plenty of people. Any one of these news anchors should be a role model and be reading stories to children. How about these police officers or the firefighters? Those are the ones. How about the pastors? There are plenty of men and women who can be role models for our children, but not adult illicit sexual entertainers. Come on, Martha. I come before you. The Lord Jesus Christ has sent me here today. I'm a mother with true concerns. I have seen videos of these so-called drag queen uh, story hour where they dress in outfits seductively, teaching three-year-old children how to twerk. Yeah, you tell them. They right. in a way That's that right. they should not be exposed to. Yeah. yeah. Why do they use these men dressed as dry queens? Why are we using One, two, three, four, five. And there are two undercover. Seven. I'm a military. No, he's not one of the readers. He'll just be here listening. Okay. Yeah. To see um, the sure he's very proud to be here. Oh, I don't know if this he's going to be here. This has nothing to do with oh, ignorance, oh, fear, and hate. Okay. This has to do with protecting our children being exposed. Yeah! yeah. 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 As pedophilia, like Alberto Garza, a.k.a. Tatiana Mala, in Houston, Texas, yep. who had passed convictions of assaulting a kid in 2008. Parents should raise their own children, yeah. not to That's let right. them be influenced by men yeah. dressed in drag. Yes. Parents, please wake up. Letting kids lay on a man dressed as a woman at a dry queen hour. Where has society gone wrong? To believe this is normal? This is adult entertainment. Thanks for coming down, Arthur. Thank you. Who are you? Laura Douglas. Oh, thank you, Laura. Make sure to sign up. To get your contact info. Okay, make sure to get put your contact info, please. Uh, proper for these children. These children need to grow up 
up and choose to have things to do. Make sure to put your email not your phone number. Doctrine. If you have an email, please put your email. That is not of God and that is evil and that I'm not have a person. So there is a, I think it's just shocking to me. This word hate get, gets thrown around so hastily. It has no value anymore. Real hatred is teaching children to abuse their bodies. Real hatred is teaching children lies that cut their lifespan short. We, this whole drag queen program likes to promote this idea of be yourself. A drag queen is a man dressing up as a parody of a woman. How is that an example of being yourself? That is far from being yourself. That's trying to be something you're not. I mean, it's a total lie. This is a total scam that's being pushed on these children. And they don't know right from wrong because they're little kids who expect adults to be adults, to put their interests first, to ensure their safety and their well-being. And you'll notice the ones who are the most hateful, the ones who are the most bigoted, the ones who wanted to shut someone else down, it was the LGBT lobby. They were the ones here screaming and yelling. These were the ones who were interrupting. These are the ones who shouted down a black pastor and a Filipino leader in the community. Who's the racist? Where's the hatred? That's where you see it. Ma'am, it's yours. The hatred lies with you. You don't have to live there though. And we have more people every day who reach out to our organization saying, we've had enough. We want to restore faith, family, and freedom. If I may be so bold, we want to make male and female great again. We want to make marriage great again. We want to make mom and dad great again. Those are the those are the points that need to be pushed. That's the agenda. And that's just simple knowledge, simple biblical biological fact. Why is that a problem? Why do people call that hatred? It just shows the level of vitriol from the LGBT agenda, the people pushing this community, pushing this agenda. So with that, does anybody else want to make a statement? Because I don't want to take that from somebody. Yes, ma'am, come on up. Oh, sorry. And I'm also a No, it's not. You guys are bullying us. You're way too close to me. Get away you're from bullying me. us. No, you're close to me, ma'am. Of course she's upset because we're telling the truth. When are you going to pop it? Sorry. Say we could be civil. We can be civil. Go ahead, sir, please. I'm Phoebe's husband. Yeah. Speak up, Phoebe's husband. For all, for all of you people over here in this corner, um, you're literally no different than we are, just different Sorry. mindsets. Okay? And what I know is that God loves every single one of us. Yeah. And, Amen. And, and, if, and if we look, if we look to God, and if, and if we look to the truth of God's word, we will find Him. We will find where we need to be living. Got it. Our life. I got to really ask this. You, you were really born that way. Where's the genetic code that proves this? Were you, were you born gay? I'm asking. Okay. I have so much passion for you. I appreciate it, but I have so much and I and I share that. That's why we're fighting this. No, I have so much unconditional love. Okay. And compassion for you. So if I had cancer, would you love my cancer? Of course you wouldn't, because it's killing me. And it's the same thing true for these behaviors. They're destructive. No. Yes, I'm they are. Writing. Writing. That's what they're doing. They're being pulled by Satan. Writing. I'm sorry. Sorry, sorry for what? I'm so sorry. You must let the children imagine. You so leave our children alone. You're the ones you are an adult. You're thinking. The children want to hear a story. 
Tony Hill. They're gradually, gradually taking more ground and more grounds to the LGBT community, which I care for, and, and my heart breaks for this community because of the, of the um, high risk behavior, that homosexual lifestyle, and um, potential suicides. Yep. They're just so sad to lose anyone to suicide. You That's correct. Forty-one percent. Yep, for transgenders, it's awful, so I've and it's in. Children. Sorry. I've worked with them for thirty years, and I don't want them to be perverted. Yeah. And I don't want Thank them you, ma'am. I don't want their eyes to be filled with garbage, and that's horrible. What's happening to America? This whole horrible what's happening to San Diego. We've got to turn this around. Yeah. yeah. Amen. I'll let, did you want to say something? Uh, I don't know. Okay. All right. I am so proud of the people of Chula Vista. We had people that were signed up but that didn't show up, but we had many people who stepped up. And that's what needs to happen. We need mothers and fathers, leaders in our communities to step up and say, enough. This is not going to change if we keep accommodating and accepting it. If we keep being intimidated and bullied by the LGBT lobby that says we're haters, we're bigots. Folks, sticks and stones may break my bones, but names will never hurt us. Amen. We have fed up with this agenda, locking us up, silencing us, pushing us away. They're pushing us into the closet. We've had enough. Ma'am, did you want to speak? Okay, I just want to say this, that this is wrong, this is dead wrong. And let me tell you something, if you are really confused, really confused of what you are, of who you are, there's something that I must say that my pastor always says, you go to the bathroom, you take off your drawers, and you look down, and that is who you are. Amen. Period. Male and female. That's it. You couldn't say it. Hey, that lady gets it. Moms get it. Dads get it. They're the ones who care. They're the ones making the difference. Now, i got to stress this again, and I want to make this really clear. We do not speak from just a biblical foundation, but from a biological one. We have compiled at length all of the health and statistical evidence in this book. I'm not here trying to sell a book, but to make a case. Homosexuality, transgenderism, these are harmful behaviors we cannot push onto our children. We cannot allow this to be normalized, and that's exactly what drag queen story hour is doing enough is enough anybody else absolutely thank you ma'am i want to thank all the people who are with us whether standing here presently or have been out and about making the case to shut this down we need to hold our elected officials accountable and demand that they shut down this drag queen story hour perversion thank you very much for your time Thank you so much.